to One Left Gym. Let me start off by saying that I'm a somewhat nervous person by nature. I've been rear-ended a number of times in my past, and it sucks. I therefore believe that a car cannot have too many brake lights. You can see here how I swapped out my eyes 350s reflectors for an additional set of LED brake lights. I even added a long LED brake light strip to my work truck. I think doing something like this is a really good idea and can only increase your safety. Obviously then, the Bronco wasn't going to be the exception. I got this brake light on Amazon like most everything else I buy. I picked this particular version not because of price or popularity, but because it appeared to have more LEDs than all the other versions being sold. To be clear, the decision to purchase this spare tire light was to increase the Bronco's safety and not a need for a Vegas-like light show on its rear end. As you can see, the brake light was nicely packaged and it came with a single sheet of mostly useless instructions. It feels pretty solidly constructed and looks good with the dark tint. That'll probably make it more or less invisible behind the spare tire when the LEDs are off. I'd call that stealthy. I did also get this one because it's supposed to be completely plug and play, and from the connectors it looks like it. It should just plug in line with the existing third brake light. I'll include a link to this version and other related ones in the description below if after seeing this you also want to get one. The install starts with the most obvious step, remove the spare tire. This was my first time removing it. I had no idea how heavy and unwieldy these Sasquatch package wheels are. Yeah, I'm old and weak. Next, you remove all the screws holding both the third brake light assembly together and the screws securing it to the spare tire holder. I think the screws were just regular Torx, not Torx Plus, but I didn't look too close and my Torx bits seemed to fit just fine. After some fiddling, I was then able to separate the two halves of the third brake light housing and got the brake light harness unplugged. It was at this point I realized something was amiss. The hole in this thing was just not big enough for it to slide all the way back against the spare tire holder. That meant that the studs wouldn't stick out far enough through the spare to get the lug nuts on. I don't know if this is an issue specific to the Sasquatch equipped models or not, so I had to scrape and cut a bit of the plastic off around the hole to make it bigger. A few moments later. I didn't record that, but it was easy. You definitely didn't miss anything. Anyway, I then had to run the wiring from the brake light up to the top of the housing and get it plugged into the factory harness. The remaining brake light connector then plugged back into the factory brake light. As they say, reassembly was the reverse of the removal procedure. You just had to make sure the extra wiring was tucked inside the housing when putting it back together. I probably should have used zip ties to keep it neat, but it wasn't that hard to get it in there. Just so you aren't wondering, I did test this really quick before I put it back together so I didn't waste my time. What I didn't do, but should have, was test to see if the new light would work if the factory brake light wasn't plugged in. I was considering just removing the factory third brake light altogether. If you got rid of it, there's plenty of room to just hide the extra wiring behind the spare tire holder, maybe after waterproofing it in a bag or something. But I didn't think my wife would like me removing it, so I didn't test that. Turns out, when I told her I put on a new LED brake light, she looked at the factory third brake light and said she didn't like it, thinking this was what I added. Then I showed her what I did put in, and she asked if we could get rid of the factory one. So now that third brake light deletion might have to be a future video. Now for the reveal. Here's what it looks like lit up at night. And here's what it looks like during the day. Well, needless to say, this mod was a big thumbs up from the wife. Hopefully this makes the Bronco a little less of a target now. Well, see you later.